Three days ago, the Soviet Union launched a surprise attack on Paris. The Soviet Air Force entered the city's airspace at around 9 o'clock Tuesday evening and commenced an airborne assault into the northern part of the city. Over 10,000 soldiers are reported wounded, deceased, or missing in action. While both the European Alliance and the Soviet Union suffered heavy losses, the Red Army ultimately swept aside all resistance in the city. The Alliance was clearly not expecting this attack, and it took the Soviets only four hours to clear the streets of Alliance forces. The Soviets appeared to be claiming the city for their own, with soldiers defacing historic monuments with communist propaganda. There were rumours that the Union High Command planned to rename the city Parisgrad as part of ongoing efforts to reinforce the unity of the Soviet people. Only hours after the attack, the first makeshift vodka bar was spotted on the Champs-Élysées. The proprietor, Comrade Ultraviers, hoped to quickly import wrestling bears from Russia to start his own bear fight ring on the Ile de la Cité. However, as the fighting in Paris quieted down, United Republic amphibious landing craft were already coming ashore along the coast of northern France. Republican armies marched straight for Paris to drive the communist threat out of the city. Mere days after the first Russian airborne troops landed in the French capital, the Republic has taken full control of Western Europe, while the Red Army hold the East. Remnants of the once proud European forces have fled to Africa, where they are regrouping. This is Charles West for March of War News. Have a good evening.